And this evening to remember two teenagers who died in a wreck near Plantersville Saturday night. Our Quentin Smith joins us now live in Lee County ahead of what's sure to be an emotional night. Yeah, Andre, I'm here at the tennis courts at Nettleton High School, and this is where the vigil will take place tonight at 7 o'clock. And I'll tell you, it's a sense of sadness here as this entire community is still trying to cope with this devastating tragedy. Riley and, and Coward, they lost their lives when the vehicle they were in uh, went, off the, went off of Highway 6 Saturday night and hit a tree. The Mississippi Highway Patrol says Riley was driving a 2003 Chevrolet truck heading east in her when the car she was in when she lost control of the vehicle. Now, Coward, he was a passenger in that vehicle, and they were both pronounced dead at the scene. Now, the victim, Coward and Riley, they were just teenagers. Riley was 18 years old, and Coward was 17 years old, and they were both students at Nettleton High School. I'm told Riley leader and also played tennis and Coward. He was a member of the Union Volunteer Fire Department. We caught up with the fire chief to talk about Coward and this devastating tragedy. Here's what he had to say. Uh, the, this kid was well known. Both of them were well known uh, and, and loved in, through the community. So it's really hurting all the young kids that they went to school with. Now again, tonight's vigil will take place at 7 o'clock at the tennis courts here at Nettleton High School. And we'll have another day from tonight's vigil coming up a little later on WCBI News at 9 and 10. But for now, reporting live in Nettleton, Winston Smith, WCBI News.